Hello, and if you're new, what up? For today's video, I have 10 fragrances that I think are perfect for Valentine's Day, no matter what it is that you're going to be doing. I have some really sexy date night out type of scents. I have some really casual, like just chilling around the house type of scents. And then I have some that I feel like are kind of in between they really can be dressed up or dressed down like you really don't have to be doing anything special but if you want to do something special you can wear these scents for that as well so this is only 10 fragrances y'all know your girl could have picked way more fragrances and i definitely could have just picked super sexy date night out feminine type of fragrances for the lineup but i kind of wanted to throw some unexpected scents in there as well because i feel like for valentine's day a lot of people do a lot of different things they show their love in lots of different ways so you don't always have to be super super formal dressed up you know just to have a really good valentine's day so if you guys want to see the 10 fragrances that I picked, then just keep on watching. The first one I'm going to start out with is one that I can't stop talking about. Quite literally, I cannot stop talking about this fragrance. And I also can't stop using it, okay? This is Sun Ripened Raspberry. I really want a fine fragrance mist to go with this. Y'all know I got two body creams for 75% off at the SAS sale, but my store did not have any sprays. And I'm super sad about it because this smells amazing. This is more of your perfumey, non-edible type of raspberry scent. It's super sweet and it's fruity, but it has this perfume essence to it as well. So the scent notes are sun ripened raspberries, strawberry leaves, sugar crystals. So this doesn't even have any type of floral note, any type of aromatic type of note, but some Something about this gives like perfumey type vibes and I think that's why I think that this would be a really nice Valentine's Day scent. This is one that you can dress up or down for real for real and you know if you pair it with a perfume or even with another fine fragrance mist that has more of a sexy take to it I feel like you could definitely take this up a notch. This is such a beautiful scent. I really have been enjoying this one and once I get that spray once I get that spray, y'all know it's going to be some combinations coming with this one. I already have some combinations with this one with just the body cream. But when I get that spray, baby, it's on, okay? But yeah, this is a definite pick for Valentine's Day. Another one that's a definite pick, hands down, y'all knew this one was going to be included. This one will probably be included in all types of fragrance videos, no matter what it's about, what the occasion is. Doesn't matter. This one is probably going to be included because this is one of my top favorites of life. This is Wrapped in Vanilla. Period. This is another one that I feel like can be dressed up or down. This is a very versatile vanilla scent because it goes with everything. It's so versatile because it goes with everything. So you can pair this with more sexy perfumes. Like you could definitely pair this with something casual, something more sweet, something more fun. Like it really doesn't matter with this one. I swear, like you could pair this one with so many different things and dress it up or down. So I feel like it is the perfect Valentine's Day scent. It's perfect for cuddling. It's perfect for going out. It's perfect for doing nothing. It's just perfect. So wrapped in vanilla had to make this list. Now, one that's a little bit unexpected from me, it might not be unexpected to you guys, but it's kind of unexpected for me. This is one that I don't think I would have ever thought to wear for Valentine's Day. But listen, it was a combo. It was a combo that I did. And I actually made an IG Reels using this fragrance. So you guys, I'm going to get back on my IG game. I promise um, I will definitely have more Reels for IG after I move. But yes, I did this combination on my IG Reels. And that is using Pastel Skies. Y'all, I would have not thought to use this fragrance for Valentine's Day because this one to me gives casual. It definitely gives casual. So it's soft cloud berries, pink sponge sugar, coconut musk. It definitely smells like, you know, boardwalk taffy and all of that. But because of the coconut musk, it gives it more of this airy quality to it. So I think it's a lot more casual. But you guys, when you pair this with different perfumes, and I have a, a couple of ideas for this one. But if you pair this with perfumes, this is one that you can make very versatile. You can do a lot with this one. Again, very casual type of fragrance on its own. Add it to something else and you can take it up a notch. You can take it to that level. This is really, really pretty. And I do like the more airy quality that it has. Some people can't get with that, but I think that's what makes this unique. I think that's the reason why I like it. That and then also it's very versatile. So Pastel Skies, I definitely think that that one is a great pick. Another one that's a really good pick, and I actually have a combination for this one because I don't love this fragrance. Y'all know this one. This one wasn't my fave out of the entire line. But when I layered it, I was like, oh, yeah, you, you for Valentine's Day for sure. So this is Pure Seduction Luxe. For me, this one is definitely more sexy. This one is definitely more like you're dressed up. 
is that one okay so this one is posh violet strawberry nectar a lot of people have compared this one to burberry her or burberry her elixir and all of that yes it definitely smells like that that's not what i paired this with but what i paired it with definitely gives it more of a sexy edge i feel like this one already has that edge to it but you pair it with another perfume and it has even more of a sexy edge to it so this is definitely a great great pick for valentine's day like this one I wouldn't really wear this one casually. You can, for sure. You can do whatever you want. But this one, to me, definitely screams like tight dress, heels, done up. That's what this one gives me. So, yes, Pure Seduction Lux. Another one that gives me that vibe, and y'all already know. Y'all already know. Like, this is my girl. I love this one, okay? Ride or die for this one. Merlot Pear Blackberry and Glazed Fruit. <sighs> this is so good. I always love this one so good. How many times can I say that this smells like a sexy ass wine? Too many? I'm gonna say it again. This smells like a sexy ass wine. It is so good. I love this one so much. Like real for real. I, I need to take this with me on my trip for real. Yeah. Yeah, I need to take this one on my trip. Cause even though I'm not gonna be doing anything for Valentine's Day except probably unpacking my house, this is what I'm gonna wanna smell like. Cause this is just, mm, this is man eater. Period. Period. I feel like I should make a man eater fragrance video for Valentine's Day, but I ain't gonna have time, y'all. I ain't gonna have time to make that video. But this is one of them. So definite pick for Valentine's Day. To me, that one is not casual. I don't care what nobody say. To me, that one is not casual. Okay, so a couple of these that I'm gonna mention are discontinued. I think Merlot Pear and Pure Seduction Looks are discontinued as well. Y'all know how Victoria's Secret do. Y'all know how they do with their fragrances. They bring them out for a hot minute like half of the season and then they take them away so i'm sorry about that but another one that i'm going to mention that came out last hmm that came out during i don't know when it came out listen love spell crystal this one is one that i love because love spell crystal is very reminiscent of love spell la creme and i would mention that one but that one is really really old well not really really old but it's older and this one is more new like more recent so i feel like more people would have this one than they do love spell the creme this one is about 90 percent similar to love spell the creme so it's so beautiful it has that original love spell dna but it's a lot more toned down it's not as creamy as love spell la creme but it definitely has that creamy factor to it so this one is glowing apricot and iridescent woods it smells very very similar to love spell la creme and y'all know i think that is like one of the most sexiest fragrances that i have it always 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 garners compliments mostly from men period so love spell crystal if you have this one go ahead and add it to your list of fragrances that you want to wear leading up to valentine's day or wear on valentine's day whatever the case may be that one she's the one she's one of the ones she's one of the ones okay okay so then i have to mention my girl goes hand in hand with wrapped in vanilla this one is blush cardigan i told y'all in one of my previous videos i told y'all that this one is a dupe for kenzo flower love elixir and that one is a man eater fragrance as well tears the dudes down period so this one is like a slightly sweeter like more candy like version of um kenzo flower L elixir but it hits the same it really does this one smells so 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 good like it's raspberry sugar dip violet and warm amber yeah it's it's so good literally like this is pretty this is feminine this is sexy but it's classy this is another one that i definitely feel like is versatile because i would wear this one every day just like how i did with kenzo flower the elixir i would wear this one every day but listen when i put that when i put that ish on when i put that ish on and i look good done up this this fragrance right here is gonna complement everything with that she's gonna be that girl and she's gonna have you turning heads people gonna be asking you oh my god you smell so good like what are you wearing like can you please let me know what you're wearing like whispering it to you because they don't want everybody to know that they own you like that this is the one this is the one okay so then i'm throwing it back this is another one that's discontinued but i'm listen if you have it in your collection pull it out i don't know why bath and body works discontinued this one because y'all know this used to be my girl this used to be my signature scent y'all paris amour paris amour this one is ultra ultra feminine ultra ultra girly but so so pretty so so pretty now 
I don't know if this one will garner the same compliments that it garnered me in like 2014, 2015. I'm pretty sure it would. I'm pretty sure it would because it smells good. Like it's a scent that smells good. A scent that smells good, you're going to get compliments, especially if people can smell you. You're going to get compliments. Paris Amour, y'all pull this one out and enjoy it. I don't even have the scent notes for this one, but I know like this is one of those, like I said, ultra girly, feminine, perfumey type of fragrances. So it's sweet, but it's also perfumey, a little bit floral. It's just everything combined into one. Like it's a pretty pink fragrance, if that's how I had to describe it. It's a pretty pink fragrance. So Paris Amour is definitely one that should be on the list. Little Black Party Dress, okay? Little Black Party Dress extra sexy extra feminine extra grown woman like i'm not here to play i'm on my no nonsense ish i got on a tight black dress i'm shutting ish down little black party dress definitely a valentine's day fragrance for sure definitely a going out for valentine's day fragrance definitely if you're going to any any type of dressy event any type of dressy formal dinner anything where you wearing heels and you dressed up you need to have a little black party dress okay like but not if you don't like patchouli. If you don't like patchouli, you don't need this. You, you just go on, bypass it. You don't need it. Okay, and then the very last scent. The very last scent. Another one unexpected from me. But again, when I was going through my fragrances and I smelled this one, I was like, why have I not worn you, talked about you? What's going on? Y'all, gingham love. Woo! Hmm. Is this a dupe for something? Is this a dupe for something? It smells like something. But I don't know what it is. All I know is that it's sexy. It's sweet. It's a little bit perfumey, a little bit aromatic, has a little bit of powderiness to it, but nothing crazy. This one is Sugared Red Berries, Blushing Freesia, Rose Meringue. Listen, the Rose Meringue, the rose gives it kind of like a velvety softness, but it's a sweet rose. So it's not like super old fashioned. It's like a, it's just like a velvety sweet rose, like I said, like like it says, rose meringue. And then you have the blushing freesia. Now, freesia, I've noticed that freesia gives like a really pretty aromatic quality to fragrances. It's like so light and airy. Freesia always gives that to fragrances, something that I've noticed. And then it has the sugared red berries. And you can definitely smell those red berries. It's definitely a sweet, fruity, kind of sugary type of scent. But like I said, you get that velvety rose and you get that airy freesia. Listen, this is pretty. This is pretty. And I think they had came out with this for Valentine's Day last year. So it's only right that I mention it this year. Y'all, this is so good. You need to pull it out. I'm definitely going to pull it out. So it says, this playfully romantic fragrance is sweet, warm, and blushing with happiness. It's like love at first sight. Listen, pull this out. Y'all, wear this. Look at the packaging. Pull this out and wear it, okay? It definitely deserves a spot on the lineup. But that is it you guys those are the 10 fragrances that i wanted to mention to you guys for valentine's day i feel like these are perfect perfect valentine's day fragrance lineups no matter what you're going to be doing there's something here for everybody and i really enjoy like going through my fragrances and picking these out for valentine's day one of these is definitely gonna be my valentine's day scent and i'm leaning more towards merlot pear definitely but i hope you guys enjoyed seeing this list if you did go ahead and give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below let me know if you enjoyed it if you're new you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the fragrance and beauty army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace